It doesn't matter how brilliant the rest of a car is, if the engine's completely dead, the whole thing is a lemon. Over the years there have been plenty of cars that could have been winners, but thanks to their garbage engines, they were doomed from the get-go. Whatever it's awful reliabilities, zero refinement, or about as much of power as lawnmower. Sometimes all three. The wrong engine choice meant this never stood a chance. Total disaster. Number one, MG8 Twin Cam. 1958. With its stunning design, a sharp handling, the MGA is highly sought after classic that cost in average $60,000. Most models were equipped with either 1.5 or 1.6 liter engine with overhead valves, but over 2000 received twin cam engine derived from the standard B series unit. This double overhead cam engine exclusive to the MGA was notoriously temperamental. It required premium fuel and precise ignition timing at all times, otherwise the pistons were prone to damage. Even when running well, the engine had a tendency to burn oil which drove buyers away from the MGA twin cam. Number 2. Chrysler Gas Turbine 1963 I'm not here to poke fun at Chrysler for including this car that never made it to the full production, after all innovations come from pushing the boundaries, but the Chrysler Gas Turbine was definitely a step too far. Only 55 were built and loaned to the families from the real world testing. The verdict? Lagluster acceleration, atrocious fuel consumption. A convoluted starting process and poor refinement made the whole thing more hassle than it was worth. In the end, a standard V8 could have done a much better job without all the headaches. Out of 55, only 9 remain and only 3 still run. Number 3. Hillman Imp 1963 The Imp had the potential to be a truly great car with its lightweight design, smooth gear shifts and lively engine. Its rear-mounted all-aluminum 875CC water-cooled engine made it blast to drive more than a capable of competing with the Mini, but the same engine was also the Imp's many downfalls. Early models suffered from issues with pneumatic throttle, a frequent overheating led to blown head gaskets, warped cylinder heads and even distorted blocks. While later versions addressed most of these problems, the damage to the Imp's reputation was already done. Number 4. NSU Ray O80 1967 all of the underperforming engines on the list, the Aero 80's Vonkel unit stands out as a complete disaster. So bad it nearly took down the entire company. The Aero 80 itself was a fantastic car, boosting an ultra aerodynamic design and semi automatic transmission, but the engine failures with the first 10,000 miles were common due to the rotor tips wearing out and causing compression issues. Warranty claims skyrocketed, pushing NS to the brink of a collapse, ultimately forcing them into Volkswagen hands in 1969. By 1977, both the Aero 80 and the SNL name had faded into the history. Number 5. Austin Free Leader 1967 Ok, I am pushing the great cars label with this one, but you cannot deny that Austin 3 liter is an intriguing vehicle that could have been something special, big and luxurious, it had the potential for a solid ride and handling, and it was powered by a smooth straight 6 derived from the Austin Haley 3. Unfortunately, the engine didn't fare as well with the 3 liter. Many of the 9,992 units produced were scrapped due to premature engine failures, cutting short any hope of this car living up to its potential.